Hey guys, welcome back to Steel on Target. If you, just like me, switch to Rain Energy in your camper, your RV, or whatever, you are probably familiar with the Rain Energy DC Home app. It's a great app to monitor all of your stuff. Uh, with a single app, you can monitor inverters, batteries, DC to DC chargers, uh, and so forth. Now, you may also want a quick way to reference that without having to pull out your phone. And that's where the Renergy One Core comes in. The Renergy One Core is a screen that connects to all of those devices and it's always connected. So with a glance of a single screen that's always on in your camper, you can do the same thing. So you don't need this really if you have all the uh, uh, Bluetooth functions on your devices, but it's nice to have. Um, I also mounted my Renergy inverter switch here. You're gonna see that it's all in this box. And this box is a project box that I found on Amazon for about $12. Uh, I'm gonna put links to everything that I have here in my description below. They are affiliate links. So thank you for your support. Uh, I simply cut a hole uh, to fit my Renergy inverter switch as well as the mount for the Renergy One Core. I installed a Blue C Systems 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet here. And finally at the bottom, I have somewhere to pass my cables through and seal it up from the elements. I'm not gonna be so concerned with the elements because this is gonna be in a camper. I am gonna drill a hole and mount it to the T-Track in the Lone Peak camper. So let's go ahead and get started and get this installed. So I made this cable, uh, hopefully you can see, but I made this cable, so this is going to connect to the juice box, that's going to connect to the cigarette outlet, uh, uh, outlet. this is going to connect to the Renergy 1 for power, uh, and that should be it for the Renergy 1, everything's going to be connected through, uh, through uh, Bluetooth, so, and then, it, and then we just got to run the, the cable for the inverter through that, which is already ran towards the end of the truck, so let's get it salt together. side let's get set up here let's get set up for success I know it's hard to see on the camera okay. 
If you own Devo's lights, they make great nighttime shooting lights. And I'm only using one right now. I should be using like all of them. I have like six. Okay, so we have, we're connected through the, for the cigarette lighter. That's where I'm tapping for power for the one core. Um, and then I'm just gonna run the cable for the inverter switch. So let's get this up there. All right, y'all, so it's uh, ready to put back together. I have it tapped into the juice box power. Uh, you're gonna notice another hole there. That is because, it's kind of hard to see. That's because uh, I need to make more space for this here. Uh, now that we have more space, uh, we're gonna go ahead uh, and continue on. The next uh, video you'll see is this powering back up. Hey everybody, it's a new day and uh, well, we have it installed. Let's check it out. We are inside the camper now. I got my lights on. Check out the video on that. Link in the description below. I do have my fan, uh, uh, my vent open and the fan on. Just a little, uh, little stuff in here right now, so that'll help me chill in here. Anyways, let's check out the Energy One Core. Okay, guys. So please excuse my wiring. I do got to clean this up. I want to shorten up that, that black cable, re-terminate it. I wanna, I wanna get that cleaned up. But for now, just ignore it. Um, I uh, so here's our Renergy One Core. Here's our home screen. As a matter of fact, let me turn off the maybe the glare from the outside is not helping. Ow! Ow! That cable. That cable right there tore me up. Can you see it? Can you see it? Sometimes you, you, you have to go through these campers and kind of take care of these little things like that. Um, but that kind of bit me in the finger. Anyways, let's uh, see if we can... Nope, that's going to be worse. I can, clearly, I can clearly see it. But the camera doesn't pick it up very well. Let's see if I can correct that. Okay, so I found some kind of fabric to go ahead and uh, cover the glare. Uh, I just happen to have something laying around here, so let's proceed. That's a little better. Let me try turning on the, the light though, just for myself. Okay, so we have our Energy One Core right here. At a quick glance, we can see we have 99% of our battery. We are using 1.3 amps. Our current is negative 1.3, meaning that we are uh, discharging. Uh, that's because I have the fan on, the LED lights, and a massive fridge. So now we're at 4.3, so maybe the compressor kicked on. So that's our home screen there. Um, there's not really much to do here. If we, click, if we click this, you can see that we have our inverter at 13.3 volts using up zero watts. So this is a nice quick glance of your system. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, that was the inverter, DC to DC charger. Uh, we're using up 22 watts and our battery is at 99.4% discharging at negative 4.7. Uh, we have an added device. So if you want to add a device, it'll scan. I have nothing to add, so we're going to back out. Uh, and then if you click over here, it'll take you through uh, some other settings like system settings. So you can uh, select your network here. Uh, if you want to pair with the app, you click pair with app and it'll connect to your app. I do have my app connected. And then you got your display. Uh, so there's various stuff that's pretty helpful in this system to give a quick glance without using up your app. So you're going to be looking for the DC home app. Um, so here's our, our app. So now it's connected. You can see that we have remaining time of 46 hours. It's going to be hard to see, isn't it? Yep, 46 hours remaining. If we weren't going to be charging. Uh, obviously, when the sun comes out, that'll be extended. We have our rolling core here, our battery, uh, the inverter, 
and our DC to DC charger um, and of course you have uh, other stuff you can do through here so what's nice about this uh, in conjunction with the app is being able to access it from everywhere if this is connected to a hotspot a Wi-Fi which I do so there are some pro <sighs> I can't stand a sloppy collar. Uh, there are some pros and cons to this Renergy One Core, uh, but I believe there's quite a bit more pros and cons. Uh, I'll start with the cons. The cons is, yes, if you pair your app to the device, uh, you're gonna need, the device needs to be on a Wi-Fi system, on a network of, of some sort, to be able to monitor through your phone. You can get, a, if you don't plan on having that on a network, well, then just don't pair it to the app and your devices will talk to your phone app uh, in the conventional way. So that's probably how we'll recommend, I will recommend you write it if you don't, uh, if this Renergy One Core is not gonna be connected to the internet. I have good internet Wi-Fi here in the driveway. So from the inside of the house, I can monitor it uh, while connected to the app. Uh, I can be anywhere in the world and as long as this thing's connected to the Wi-Fi, I can monitor my truck I have Starlink so if I'm away from the house and I'm overlanding off-roading camping anywhere where there's no internet uh, but my Starlink this thing will be connected to my Starlink so I'll have no issues uh, so that really depends how you want to use it uh, I have internet coverage on this truck no matter where I'm at whether it's the house or Starlink so I have it connected through the app Otherwise, don't pair your app to your device and your phone will act just as a normal phone and will talk to your, all your devices through Bluetooth directly. So that's, that's one thing. Now, I have a couple, uh, the pros I kind of just mentioned with the cons is I can monitor this thing no matter where I'm at. I don't know how many times I've came out to the truck to be within Bluetooth range so I can see how my battery is charging. Uh, if I discharge my battery a lot the night before for some reason, um, I can see how long does it take for my system to charge. So I will walk up to the driveway, connect through the Bluetooth and see how my charging is doing. I don't have to do that no more. So now I just look at my app no matter where I'm at and I can monitor the system. So that's a huge pro. Another pro is I can watch this stuff I can watch, I can see this without pulling up my phone if I'm at camp. I can see this, I can go through stuff and kind of just see how things are doing, you know what I mean? Um, so that's a huge pro. That's the biggest pro to me. And now it does also have RV leveling. So with your phone, if you pull it up on your phone, you can see how your leveling is. So you'll be able to get to camp not have to use a level just use your app that thing will tell you if you're level that's another pro uh, now I did uh, I did encounter a couple of minor issues while setting this up um, and it's it's just a firmware thing some devices are new for example that lithium pro battery that's a pretty new device out in the market so your Renergy One Core may need a firmware update, but it's fine. It connects to the internet, connect it to the internet, and then go to About and then check for updates. If there's an update required, perform that update. It could take quite some time, sometimes 20, 30 minutes. It took me about 30 minutes. It was stuck at 0% for 15 of those minutes, 15, 20 minutes of those minutes, and then it just started downloading, boom, boom, boom. So don't freak out. As, as long as you're connected to the internet, just let it do its thing. After I uh, did the firmware updates, I was able to add the inverter, but I was still having issues adding the battery. And no matter what I did, I couldn't add the battery. It wouldn't see it when I did add device. So finally, what I did, my fix to that was, I disconnected the app from the one core and then I disconnected the battery to my phone. 
Then I connected that to then the one core saw the battery. I didn't, you know, after doing add device and I linked it. Once I linked it, I linked my phone back and I was able to monitor the battery from the app and the one core. So a couple of little, little things to, you know, uh, to know about. If you're not tech savvy, that could drive you nuts. Uh, for a living, I deal with a lot of firmware updating. And uh, so I just tried a couple of things. Now, if you don't want to uh, have this all the time, you can push uh, the side button. It'll put your display to sleep. It's going to turn off the energy inverter. I want to turn off the fan. I am going to close the fan before I forget. Make sure it's fully tight, nice and cinched. And let's head on outside. All right, guys, so that's that's it. It's a very short and quick video, but this is a neat system. I have been eyeing it for a while. Um, the, reps at, uh, the rep at Ranergy, they actually told me, you know, I don't think you need it. You, you know, the app works pretty good. But a lot of users that I've spoken with, they like having both. And I like the idea of having a physical display there. And you know what? I'm glad I went for it. So if you want to get one for yourself, follow the links in the description below for the things that I used. Those are affiliate links. They do help out the channel. Thank you, and see you guys later. Hey, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you out in the trails.